do you know how the key influencer visualization work? And I don't mean how you drop things into the canvas and get a beautiful picture. Mm -mm -mm. Do you really know what's going on in the background? How does that thing calculate? And if you use it, what do you do once you use the visualization? Do you just trust it blindly or do you check if the results are reasonable? So this is what we're going to talk about in today's video. So how about you join me and we find out. Let's go. So the key influencer visualization. Here there is a tutorial on how to actually put things in boxes and what different things mean, how to interpret the results. There are thousands of tutorials already out there on these. I have one linked up below. This is not what I want to talk about today. What I want to talk about today is what happens in the background? How do things get calculated? Okay. Um, in order to understand what's going on and to be able to explain the results. So looking at this tutorial, the only thing I could find it was this little note behind the scenes the AI visualization uses ML machine learning.net to run a decision tree. Then if I click here, it takes me to the ml.net, but it doesn't take me to a place where I can actually read how this thing works, but I actually found one. And you will get the link down below to here too. So here is, this is the same website, but here is a article explaining in general terms, but in more detail how this thing works. So here's the thing, it says here that Power BI Key influencer visualization is about a mobile desktop shared service and premium service and not on-prem. I don't know why they don't support it. And this is how it works. It says when a user starts a, a column to the key influencer visual, it gets it runs an analysis, gets a DAX query to analysis services, and then analysis services train a machine learning model that is built in, and then the result gets spot out and you get a visualization, right? And this is what the user sees. And every time you change column, a new the, the model will get retrained. So it will get the new data and then, and then spot out something. Wonderful. Okay. So what I wanted to know is like, what is run in the background? What algorithms are run in the background? And you can see here that the key influencer there are, in the beginning, if you remember, we had categorical key influencers. That means that you could not have any measures. They changed that. They said the numerical, but for the categorical, it uses a logistic regression using one hot encoding, replacing missing value, normalizing mean variance and the LBFGS logistic regression. Hold your horses. We will discuss this later in this video. So that's, that's the algorithm for the categorical. Then we have the numerical key influencers. When they update the visual, you could have measures and that uses it. Is DCA regression algorithm? Hello, data scientists. How are you? Calculating top segments. It uses a fast tree algorithm. Okay. It's running a decision tree. Okay. So now we have a little bit more understanding of what's going on. Depending on what you are trying to do, it will run different algorithms. So if it's categorical, you, ho you heard it, you know. So here's the thing. <laughs> now we know a little bit more about how this thing works. It runs algorithms in the background that depending on what you're trying to do. So if you are using this visual, what do you do once you get a result? You put the data in, you put the boxes in there, you get this gorgeous visualization, and then what? Do you just, you know, say like, okay, I know that kitchen something is, this is it, this is the, the most influential visual. Do you just run with it or do you do some checks? And looking on the internet, I actually found here this person, I love the work that he did. and. He says that he's ex he had a, a client meeting and they were discussing how to do something. And then he says, okay, let me give a go to the key influencer visual. And uh, he gave it a go. He used it. But, and that's the interesting thing, he actually, because he knows that he is using the world T-square test, 
he reproduced the test using Azure Machine Learning and this Scikit-learn, okay? Because he has the data science skill, he could actually go back to his data science tools and test it and use it and understand what was going on. Now, if you are a data scientist, you have that ability, go around with it. You probably understand if the algorithm that is being used is the correct one. Now, I don't think the Power BI tells you which algorithm is run. It would be probably a good idea that I would say, okay, we run this algorithm, we check this limitation, because here's the thing, I was checking the wall test algorithm, and here it says uh, the wall test it is uh, to find out significant values. We know that, that's what is called the key influencer. And then it says the wall, the LRT and the Lagrange multiplier test are equivalent as sample size approaches infinity, like large. However, with smaller sizes, you will get different results. So all these algorithms, for the leader I remember from my statistical courses, they all have the bats and ifs. You know, the, the distribution of the data should not be skewed. You should have uh, big sample sizes. You should, you, I mean, the limitations, they're always there. And I don't know how those limitations are checked in the key visualization, key influencers visual. And I think it would be nice if we just spit out a, a small, report that would say, okay, we run this logistic regression, whatever algorithm, and we check for, you know, this and this limitation, and it show that this, and we exclude that because... So, so you get an idea of what's actually going on. That is also in, only interested if you are a data scientist. So that would be an improvement, I think, for this type of visuals. Now, what happens with us mortals? <laughs> know nothing about algorithms, okay? And because the key influencer visual is meant to be used by us, the question is, okay, I've run a report, I got a result, like you can see here, and now what do I do with this? I think that the responsible thing to do is to actually go and check if whatever the result you got makes sense. Because here's the thing, there's going to come a point that not everybody's going to be a data scientist. Not everybody, uh, I believe that very few people are actually going to be able to understand the algorithms behind it. And I understand what Microsoft is doing and why they are doing it. So we need to somehow assume that the calculations behind are correct, but that doesn't mean that we need to assume that the results are correct. And it is our responsibility to check if those results are correct or not by looking at the data, okay? So this would be my recommendation to you. You use this, you get a result, you go and verify it with your data. Does it make sense? That is it possible that this is the true answer? And then you might think, okay, so what is the point? If I still have to check it, why do I am using it all together? <laughs> okay, it's a fair question. Hear me out. Imagine that you are, you know, doing a crime scene investigation and you run out of leads. So you don't know, you, you have no, no ideas of what happened and why. So you decide to run a hotline so people can give you tips. Okay, so you will get hundreds of probably thousands of tips of people that saw something or thought something or have suspicions about someone. And maybe you find that 37 people or 370 people thought that Bill did that. You, as a detective, don't go and say, hey, let's go and grab Bill and put it into jail. No, you have to prove that actually Bill did something. But to get to the point, the thing is that you have a lead now, okay? Well, you didn't have anything before. You have something that you can check. You can go and check, is it Bill that did it? Or is it Mary? Or is it an accident? It could be an accident. So what I think the key influencers visuals should do for you is to give you leads as to what 
is probably happening, but you shouldn't take it blindly. Does it make sense? Okay, I'm really curious to know about how you think and resonate about all of this, because to me, I'm, I'm still struggling as the fact that I, I'm not understanding how things are working in the visual and I cannot just trust blindly what's going on. You can check the results and I think that's what we should do responsibly. But uh, yeah, it, it, it is a tough one. Let me know please in the comment box, how do you do this? What is your approach to it? I would really love to know how you work with it. And if you want to click and point tutorial as to how the key influencers work, because you've never seen it before, just click there. I have a video for you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you again on Friday. Until then, as always, take care and bye-bye.